Hello. Oh, my tracking. <laughs> hello, hello. Happy Saturday. Oh gosh. Hold on, let me fix this. i uh, move my camera over. Hmm? Okay. I think we're 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 just loosening up. <laughs> it's been a stressful week, but I'm sure I'll get better soon. Oh, I know, Lena. It's been a one thing after another. I appreciate you too. I hope you can decompress, you know, de-stress after all these things happening. And because you <laughs> you really need it. Please take care of yourself. Dancing. Ah, oh, yeah. <laughs> Ioni! I'm ultra kill warming up time. Yeah, no problem. I know this game will just put you to bed anyway. <laughs> so, so go ahead and wake up with ultra kill. Carlos! Hi! How are you? Thank you for coming. Alright. We're in the morning. We need to speak of the sea people. How is everyone doing today? Um, I'm good. I went into a food coma. <laughs> I had some ramen earlier. Uh, miso ramen. It was really good, but I, I was like... Laying down. What is happening to my eyes? <laughs> Why is it blinking when I'm not blinking? Yeah, I took a little nap after we had ramen. <laughs> ah, mama, 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 mama. All right. Hopefully, it's okay now. Nope. I don't know. Maybe your room is just dark. It's not. It's the light's on. It's okay. It's just my third eye blinking. Oh, yes, you're right, Lena. <laughs> yes, you're completely right. <laughs> oh, boy. Alright. What the heck? I'm not usually having trouble. But uh, while I am cleaning my glasses, I'll say, um... I talked to my model artist slash rigger, uh, Livene, and he said he should get my new outfit to me by October 3rd or 4th. So hopefully, next time I stream next weekend, I can show off that to you guys. Because I was like, I want this outfit because it's... It's good for fall. <laughs> Leah's being nice and calling you four eyes in an esoteric way. Ah! How could you? Wait, how was that? Hold on. <laughs> I'm gonna... Finagle. Did it work? I can't tell. I said calibrating. Alright, I'm not gonna spend any more time on this. <laughs> but it bothers me! What's happening? I won't spend any more time on this, I say, as I keep looking at it.
All right, I think I think I got it. I recalibrated the camera. Mm, it's it's still having a little trouble. Is it just because it's dark? I don't know. Whatever. We're moving on. Dave is eating something. Stop eating, Dave. We're we're diving. No more munchies. Only dive. Long nosed saw shark. Usually found off the coast of Australia. Ooh. Alright, let me try to remember how to play the game. Go to the Sea People Guard Post. Oh yeah, we made a... Uh, whatchamacallit? Translator. What does that left control do? Oh, it's the dash. Got it. I forgot I got that. Munchies, please. What is your munchie of choice? I only have a special ultra kill stream for us tonight. They're gonna show off their sick, sk sick skills to us. Look at all these fried egg jellyfish. My harpoon does a bunch of damage now. Very sick. Ill even. Yeah. That's the new terminology we're gonna call it. We're gonna call it so ill. <laughs> <laughs> Ilp gameplay. Yeah, I wanted to play Neo today, but I was like, no, I don't want to risk it again. Because every time I feel like my finger is feeling better, it like acts up again. I don't know. Maybe I should be more concerned. <laughs> maybe I should be like, hmm, maybe I should get this checked out. You're feeling hot Cheetos today. Ooh, good choice. That's a good munchie. It reminds me of when Head Butler told me that he thought hot Cheetos was too spicy. I don't need that right now. If you like hot Cheetos, like, if you open a bag of hot Cheetos and let, just leave it open for a day, it actually gets less spicy because it's, like, stale. Another scooter. Okay. Where's that cuttlefish? No? Oops. Completely goofed it. No, my space bar was not on. <laughs> if you can hear it, me frantically mashing. I could go on with a little... I could go on about some oxygen. You're accustomed, Mom, to make chicken rice porridge. Ooh, and fish balls. Green onions, fried onions. Oh, yes, that's all the good stuff. Uh, soybean, lemongrass sauce on top. Ooh, that sounds really good. That's like a perfect, like, rainy day food. Although it's, it's not rainy anymore. <laughs> it's actually quite sunny and warm today. Carlos, you're donating. <laughs> I 
Carlos has had enough. Yummy! I love fish balls. Maybe we should get some squid. Yeah, it's such a good comfort food. Oh, I got inked. No more ads, go away ads. Wait a second, I don't see anything. Well, thank you for the sub. <laughs> where's the where's the notification? I see the little teacup next to you though, so that means you got one. Thank you. Thank you for the donation during September. Ooh, guys, should we try to do it? I think we should try to do it. Boink. I'm getting mauled. Holy crap. I took a lot of oxygen too. Yay, the Miski and Leah wiggle emotes. And all was right in the world. Honestly, the dash kind of sucks. That's my opinion. <laughs> it's like a little dash. Ouchie! I forgot those things bite. I like that subscriber badge because it has a little paw print in it. A little heart paw print. Uh oh, I'm running out of air. Disassemble. Okay, I need air badly. Oh, here it is. Excellent. Alright, we're all Gucci guys. No one panic. There's puffer fish. Those are good money. Unpuff yourself. Thank you. I want the oxygen. Yeah, we can swap it. I don't need two underwater scooters. Ooh, shark. Oh geez, all the squid. I thought I had my harpoon out still. It might work. It's level 2. Nice. Uh oh, I'm overweight. Um. Uh... Just 
just keep collecting too much stuff. Um... I just need to drop about two kilos. How about there a lionfish? Discard. We have a ton of jellyfish too. Alright, no more fish guys. I can't get any more fish. As I, I pick up a seashell. <laughs> we ain't picking up nothing. Cat food! Uh oh, I'm overweight again. Uh, I'll drop one rope. Okay. We should be Gucci. Wait, can I stop picking things up? <laughs> can I stop picking things up? I just picked that up. Okay. We ain't picking nothing up anymore. Yeah, why not? I'll pick up the oxygen. I don't need it, but I don't think I'll be stopping by again. Red sniper rifle. Ooh. Oh, I want to pick up things. Oh, why am I a hoarder? Wait, where am I supposed to be going? Oh yeah, I need a flashlight. Um... Well, I'll do this one. Can you leave me alone? There we go. Oh no, I don't want to pick it up. Ugh. It's fine. I'll just be over encumbered. Alright, how do I use my weapon in R again? R? No, C. R? Huh? Oh, it's right there. Doi. <laughs> I can speak your language now. Hmm. Let's try out the Save People Translator from Dr. Bacon and see how it works. Howdy! Ah, hmm. ah, oh, oh. can you hear me? What? How is a human speaking our language? An interesting creature. His body looks different from that of the humans we occasionally see. Mm. Well, in any case... Right, I should introduce myself. My name is Suwam. Suwam? Suwam. Among us low dwellers. Oh, you said you call us sea people, right? You could say I'm the bravest and coolest male among them. Ahem. Suwam, nice to meet you. I'm Dave. Hehe. 
Dave, in our language, your name sounds very similar to broken toilet lid. What is this creature? In any case, the person lying here is the daughter of the Sea People Village Chief, Bromo. Ever since being kidnapped by that stupid giant squid, she has been unconscious. If I'd known about it a little earlier, I'd have shown that squid a thing or two. Don't get a big head for defeating an in insignificant squid, human. I am the one that guards Ramo. You really are a noisy one. In any case, you seem to have something to say. What is it? Oh, about that. In order to al allow Ramo to recover, we need some medicinal herbs. I'm unable to leave, as I must stay and look after her. Human, you must acquire some medicinal herbs to help Ramo recover. The feather coral and lily coral grow in these parts. Please make them edible. And bring them to me. Make them edible? How do I do that? That's for you to figure out, human. Go find a chef to help you or something. Hmm, she's ill, so I can't refuse to help her. Feather coral and lily coral, huh? Guess I'll have to take a look around first. Okay. I need to drop something, but I'm greedy. <laughs> I'm greedy, and I don't want to drop anything. Well, I'll drop the fang tooth. Okay. It ain't easy being a hoarder. Alright, we gotta find coral. Two different types of coral, in fact. So that's amethyst. That's a pickaxe. I don't think I need a pickaxe right now. There is an escape pod for when we need it. It might be down there. Haha, -ha, you can't get me. Haha, <laughs> you can't get me. Ooh, look, it's an orfish. It's huge. Oh, sweet. So we got feather coral. Okay. I'm over encumbered again. Pet food. Ah! Linda, hello. <laughs> hello, hello. How are you? Thank you for coming. The ultimate jump scare metal pipe. <laughs> You're good just relaxing? Nice. I'm glad to hear it. I'm doing good. I've been sleeping a lot. Do you think orfish are... Okay. I was like, maybe the orfish is gonna attack me. It's kind of scary how big it is. Whoa. That's... A giant orfish? Mm. If I take a picture of the blue plankton next to it, that could make a pretty nice picture. Okay. What giant plankton? Um, 
It's kind of a terrible picture. <laughs> it's kind of a terrible picture. Thank you for the hug. Alright, well, we'll try that again. Glad to see there's nothing bad going on. What do you mean? Oh, okay. Our fish are pretty scary. Alright, here we go. What? Wait a second. <laughs> Wait a second. You're telling me the other picture I just took was better when I had, like, a fourth of the oarfish. And then this picture, which has the entire oarfish, doesn't count. <laughs> oh. The game is rigged. I just wanted to take a better picture. The other picture of the thumb taking up half the frame is better. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna try one more time. Oh, I can't do it too early. Okay, we'll take it. We'll take it. <laughs> I'm not going to be perfectionist about it. Okay. Cool. Excellent. Aw, a little heart. <laughs> That's better. Yep. Salt. What is that over there? It's like a... Jellyfish, but it's it agros. Agro? They should pay you extra for that. I hope so. Alright, we just need to find one more type of coral. Ooh, that must be it. With the agro jellyfish. Oh, <gasps> it does agro! Aggro, I don't know. I think it's dead now. I did shoot it. Woohoo! Comb jelly. Okay. Alright, we got both of the jellyfish. Excellent. I'm probably make my way out after picking up a couple more things. This thing is so rude. Rubber chicken! What is this? Grenade launcher? That's the MSGL type launcher. Whoops, the technical jargon just slipped out. What is this? Well, I need a pickaxe. Did we see a pickaxe? Oh, thank you for the head pat. Sorry, I was so, I was so absorbed. Be gone, fish. Next time, backhand the fish. <laughs> All right, let's get this mine deposit. Ooh, it's shiny. Opal, cool. All 
And I think that's it. Alright, let's go get the escape pod out of here. Seems I got everything that fussy halfish asked me for. Okay, cool. I got the coral. You wanted to make this coral. You wanted me to make this coral edible, right? I'll have to ask Bonjo for help. Okay. Ooh, we were down there for a while. And we got a ton of meat. Meat, 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 meat. Oops. <laughs> Whoops, my bad. I was thinking about meat. Oh! You brought a picture of something! Can I see? Oh, that's a giant oarfish! I heard the fish was referred to as a god in the ancient times. It really is huge. Amazing! I'll put your picture to good use. I'm sure the readers will love it. Woohoo! There are photo spots all over the place. Thank you for your help and keep up the good work. Can we cook it? I hope not. It's scary. Alright, let's go see Bancho. Ooh, when did we get a cat? Hmm, so this coral has to be prepared so it's easy to eat for sea people. Well, I think we could start with a porridge of sorts. Give me a moment. Get my mouse out of there. <laughs> the way that we just like smile with stuff coming on our face. Here you go. I softened the coral to make it easy to eat. So it should be fine. Wow, thank you, Bancho. You're so quick. All right, let's take this to Ramo. Kitty! Momo! Let's give them common cat food. You can't give your cats the good stuff first because then they always want the good stuff. <laughs> Woohoo! We fed baby! Yahoo! All right. All right, let's go take the porch down. Yeah, I was like, do I can I upgrade anything? I don't think I'm rich enough. Thank you for the stretch, redeem. Okay, thank you for the hydrate imposter check. And the head pat, thank you, thank you. I feel so taken. Oh, holy whale! Holy whale! Holy whale! Whale, whale, whale! What do we have here? Wow, it's a humpback whale! It's so big that it makes the blue hole look smaller. Yeah, it does. Oh my god, whale! Come back! No, whale! It's gone! It's gone! Oh, well. <laughs> okay, okay. <sighs> 
Do we need these jellyfish? Oh, it's already dead. Nope, we do not need these ones. Another scooter? Okay. Guess I could just use these ones then. I don't think it's working. Yeah, it didn't work. Ah, it was worth a shot. Literally. Oops, I missed. Oops, I missed. Do it again. Doink. Ooh. Sorry, shark. But you're also not a real shark. Alright. Oh! Po pokey, pokey! Great Barracuda. We need some oxygen soon. Boxing gloves? Max three combos? Oh my gosh. <laughs> you ever just want to box some fish? Now you can. wanted to pop and sock some fish. Exactly. Ioni gets it. Sock and boppers, sock and boppers. That's all I know. I think that's just so funny. <laughs> Thinking back on it now. Like, here, buy some inflatable mittens for your hands so you can beat your, your friends up in a safe, controlled manner. Try mm, swap this one. <laughs> yeah, hack them up. Oops, wrong way.
They had so much gimmicks for kids back then. Says <laughs> adult designing them. Here, I brought some coral porridge. Oh ho! You really brought it. <laughs> Seems to be right. I've been having some wicked allergies today. Wow! Wait, I wasn't pressing pressing spacebar. Anyways, he said, Ramo, I made something for you. And she's up! Phew! I feel much better now. Just in case the game goes on without me. Yeah, like the tops that fight each other or the tops that had an engine that makes them go faster. Tops that had an engine that make them go faster? Really? Are the tops that used magnets to smack each other faster? What? Really? I didn't know this part. Or the top set are 80% metal. Uh-oh. I can't remember anything after seeing squid tentacles. Huh? A human? What is a human doing here? Well, you could say I saved you. I defeated the giant squid and brought you the coral porridge. Hmm, is that so? Wait, Bromo. That's not it. I'm actually the one who... Alright then, human. You shall escort me back to my village. Me? I'm sorry, me? Why should I? I'm an injured lady. You need to keep anything dangerous from happening. R Ramo, I can escort you too. Suwam, you got uh, go ahead and scout our path. What? How could you let a human escort you? I can keep you safe, Ahan. You haven't even passed the village tactics exam. It was tough enough coming here. <gasps> That's a sore spot for me. Suwam, stop complaining and be our lookout for the path ahead. As for you, human, you'll have to carry me on your back. What? On my back? Seems hard enough to move around as it is down here. Oh, my injured fin is hurting again. Oh my god, the little peak. <laughs> She's like, is he buying it? <laughs> Let's see. Or the tops that are smaller, or the tops that you control from remote control, or the tops that spun and kept vibrating, or <laughs> just the tops. Oh my goodness. You are impossible. I'll take you to the village and no further, alright? Okay. Get to the target location safely with Ramo on your back. Ramo has the ability to open up two worm paths. Watch your surroundings carefully and escort her safely. We love escort missions, right? The Grevolution Beyblades used to have an engine on top. What? They went off at lunch and when they or when they started getting slower. Holy cow, alright. Oh, that's her health bar on top. Okay. Probably grab this clamshell. Oh, weird. Let me check. I'm green. I should be okay. That is a bit strange, though. Oh no! Carlos paid money and now it's not working. <laughs> She's like releasing pheromones. The M Force tops had some parts uh, that you could swap out for magnets and they'd be heavier. Dang, this is intense. You can adjust the arena to have magnets in a pattern. Oh, interesting. Oh, that sounds fun, actually. It sounds dangerous, but it sounds fun. It's like when I'm doing something on the side, the whole stream just stops. Oh, yeah. I could see that happening. 
Good. Follow along. Make sure Ramo isn't hurt. Yeah, they just release some kind of pheromone that makes two worms go back in. So they just smack into each other even faster. Oh! Just gets slapped by a fish as I try to read chat. Alright. So they just smack each other into each other even faster. Just literally two bullets smashing into each other. Jeez. Jeez! Where am I even going? Oh, snap! What is this vibration? It's rare to experience one so strong. Did something happen to the village? We must return quick! Hurry, human! Girl, I'm going as fast as I can. Ooh, chest. Hold on. Oh, just another flashlight. She looks very cross. Oh, <gasps> is that a shark? Oh, just stay out of the shark's way. Is that a crab? Can the crab jump? Okay. Spider crab. Sorry, I'm not trying to aim at you. <laughs> hey now, human. Don't tell me you're tired already. Bring her carefully. I'm doing my best. Ooh, lasagna! I want some. Is this it? Okay, not that. Evil jellyfish! Do they explode? <gasps> um... Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Ah, don't bring it to the princess. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for finding my demise funny. <laughs> oh my goodness. Holy, that's a scary looking... I don't know what that is. I don't like it down here, y'all. I don't like it down here. Oh god, there's another one. Oh god. Oh shoot. Ah! Oh shoot. Oh... Okay. <laughs> Girl, I got everything under control. You chose the right man for the job. I'm at critical depth. Are we almost there? <laughs> oh no, Ioni, no! Ramo, this... Our path is, in blo is blocked... No, our path in is blocked with rock. Uh-oh. Oh no, what is going on? 
The music is amazing. It's so chill. I like it. Um, it must have been the vibrations earlier. Suwam, think of something. I need to get back quick before my father scolds me even more. Um, hmm. Maybe we can open up a path by dropping that loose, dropping the loose rock pile over there. If we can topple it and make it fall, it might just do the trick. Well, I suppose it might work. How do we make the rocks fall, though? Hmm, I see a stick over there. Maybe we should pull it out? That looks incredibly dangerous. Human, can you pull out that stick over there? The steak? I think I'll hurt my gloves with the glove. Blech. I think I'll hurt my hands with the gloves I'm wearing. I could probably do it with gloves that are thicker and offer a better grip. Dave, my apologies. I left the microphone on because I was dying to know what you were talking about. If it's enhanced diving gloves you need, I think my lab could help you out. Oh, new gloves. Haha! -ha! Equipment goes hand in hand with exploration, does it not? Come up to the boat. I think there must be a way. Could you wait here for a moment? Hold it, human. You plan to leave Ramo in a dangerous place like this? Luckily, she has me guarding her. Still, be back quick. I didn't catch enough fish. I'm gonna go see that blue fish and then I gotta go back up. Oh wait, I don't have the... Never mind. <laughs> I'll have to switch it. My body just released chemicals to make two worms go back into their hidey hole. What is this? Snake? Sea snake whip. It's a living sea snake. Interesting. Is this thing aggro? Oh, it doesn't. Let's try to trink it. working? No, I don't think it's working. Alright, I need to put a, a clock on my stream, I swear. Ooh, cat food. I got my- I got my whip! Boom! 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 Ah! I don't know, it didn't hurt me that much. It didn't hurt me that much. I don't know why I got so scared by the crab. <laughs> it jumped at me and I got scared. A sea toad? Interesting. How do I hit it? Mm. It hits the ground. Oh, I totally missed that. You got scared by exploding jellyfish? This is true. Okay, guys, we're gonna stop messing with the crab. Alright, does that sound good to everyone? 
We're gonna stop messing up the crab. I'm gonna try to get this thing. <laughs> oh my goodness, the crab counters. This thing has a ton of health. Holy cow. It's bleeding though. I'm sorry, it was kind of cute. I feel kind of bad to kill it. Rinnal. Alright. Alright. I've had enough. <laughs> Let's go back. I need to upgrade my suit though, I'm at critical depth. Hmm, the road back to the Sea People Village, huh? How fascinating! My lab has developed some diving gloves to be used for retrieving artifacts. I see. That should let me pull out a stake without my hand slipping, right? Haha! -ha, of course! It has various safety measures built in that'll let you move many other objects besides stakes. The long dive must have been tiring. Get some rest. I'll explain the details tomorrow. I'll come to the boat tomorrow morning. Okay, cool. That's our best depth yet. Woo -hoo. And we got a lot of meat! From the Reno Chimera Day. What? One piece costs 90? Holy cow. Alright. Oh, uh, Dave, are you busy? Not at the moment. What is it? We have a strange customer at the sushi bar. Could you come over for a minute? For, for a moment. How's the manager? This is something I can't overlook. I'll come over right away. Am I the manager? Am I? I'll probably upgrade my equipment tomorrow. When we get money. Uh oh. Huh? Little kid, we haven't opened yet. Oh my god, that's cute! Maki. Hello, kid. Dot dot dot. Um, you look like a student. We haven't opened yet. Come back a little bit later. Oh man! Listen, you bleepity bloop! I heard you the one time, so stop babbling! What in the world? Uh, I'm sorry, it wasn't me. You rotten blowfish, you! Get me food! Food! Um, what in the world's going on here? I think I read about this somewhere. There's a therapy method that involves letting traumatized kids speak through their mind, speak their mind through dolls. Doll, how dare you! You idiots don't deserve to live. I suppose it might be something more complicated. Oh, well, let's ask what she wants first. Kombu and white trevally otazuke. I want it. I do. Um, that sounds like something older men would want. A talpa? I don't know what- What's a talpa? It's a talpa? Is that the, the puppet? I don't know what's going on, but we'll have to give her what she wants for us to try and have a conversation. Mm. Kombu and white trabali, ochazuke. Let's check the ingredients first. Do we even have kombu? What do you mean you don't know what a talpa is? No, I don't read creepypasta. Have you seen me? 
I mean, looked at me. I get I got scared from a jellyfish. <laughs> yes, you've looked at me. Thank you. Blush. <laughs> Ooh, if we train them, they get a skill unlock. Yeah, let's do that. A vein made with big boobas? You're not wrong. <laughs> You're not wrong. Nice! She learned how to serve drinks, finally. <laughs> You're not wrong, but don't say it like that. Okay, we trained our people. Three hundred. I think it's okay. Never look up hypno creepy pasta. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like the sound of that. Oh, here we go. We do have it. I'll just put one on. So much food, holy cow. Mm. Salt Bay Real? Hey. Oh, level four is the highest it can go. Okay. Probably enhance this once. <laughs> that was supposed to be Nani. Nani, Salt Bay? Trust me, I'm grown now and that still creeps me out. Yeah, exactly. I'm easily haunted. <laughs> I'm easily haunted, so I know I'm like, nope. I ain't reading none of that. Supply. All right, I think we're good. It's not that bad. Oh, you got gummy bears? Oh, yummy. I want some. You just had a pineapple one? Now that's a creepy pasta. It just creeps you out because of your imagination. See, exactly. Like, the more you think about it, you're just like, ooh. Ooh. <laughs> ooh. <laughs> oh, yeah. I was supposed to talk to the no noisy customer. Huh? Who dares interrupt me? I'm sorry. We're not open yet. You can't come in like this. Well, aren't you strict? I was simply saying a few words. I haven't been to the beach in a while, and it brings back old memories. I was an amazing diver before. I took a harpoon in the knee. What? That sounds awful. What about goosebumps? Are you scared of the dark? I'm scared of the dark if I watch a scary movie at nighttime. Or I watch a scary game. And then I get I start thinking about like what if stuff is like uh and <laughs> yeah and <laughs> yeah, Skyrim reference. Then I start thinking like, oh, what if something's like, especially if I'm home alone and it's dark and I watch a scary game or whatever, scary movie. I'm like, uh-oh, I'm I'm afraid. I have like my nightlight on. Ah, <laughs> uh, thank you for the head pat. Head pat. Those were sh 
shows, my dear beloved Booba Min. I know Goosebumps is a book. I don't know about Scared of the Dark. So you were a diver. I'm also a diver. Oh, okay. <laughs> then you must know that divers dream of swimming in all the seas of the world. Forests of coral. Pods of sperm whales. Fights to the death of tiger sharks. Mm. Oh, both for shows? Okay, got it. Hmm, that really brings to mind to a dish I want- I'd really love to eat. What dish do you mean? Mm. When I was little- Or sorry, he, he lost his accent. When I was little, that moray eel curry at my fish fishing village was famous. Mm. I can't forget its taste. If you could make that dish, perhaps, I'll give you a nice gift. <laughs> hmm, moray, moray eel curry. Moray eels hide in rocks, making them difficult to catch. How do you get one? Hehe, <laughs> you know how to draw dive, but you don't know much of the ecology, do you? Moray e eels are nocturnal and only come out at night. <laughs> Do you have gear? Okay, he lost his accent again! Do you have gear for not diving? Oh, I did get a flashlight recently. That should do just fine. Moray eels are nocturnal. Please go night diving and catch a moray eel to fill my wish. Hmm, I haven't gone diving at night for a while. Maybe I'll try it. You can now dive once every night. There are many vicious nocturnal fish at night, but you'll also see exotic fish. Always pay attention to the sushi bar's opening hours. Interesting. So could I leave and go dive? But I want to open my restaurant. Hmm. Let's make the dish first. He was flexing. Wait, his fingertip was on fire? Okay. This guy is a legend cook. Really is. Um, let me see if I can go dive. And I can get that moray eel. One third of evening working hours will be consumed. My money! Okay. That's fine. No! I'm not gonna scream! I'm not gonna scream! I'm- I'm- I'm a- I'm a big- <laughs> I'm a big bad wolf dog maid, all right? Ain't nothing gonna scare me. Basic underwater uh, rifle. Why not? I'm scared. Wait, no I'm not. <laughs> I'm feeling brave. <laughs> Exploding jellyfish and a crab. Yes, exactly. I am. Music is spooky! It's fine. Can you imagine the depths are even actually like scarier? Because it's like darker. Ooh. <laughs> Fish swims by. It's fine.
There are the eels, actually. Ooh, weapon upgrade. Excellent. I found so much kelp. High quality cat food, heck yeah! Where's the eel? You said near the rocks, right? Yeah, that's true. I think I'm just in the wrong area, because this is not where I would see the eels. So let me go back up a bit. I guess got a punt for them. Yeah. I don't want that. Can I go out this way? Let's go back up to where I usually see the eels, because they're not usually down here. I haven't seen any spooky fish, so that's good. <gasps> that might have been one. Hold on. I'm gonna get this crate. Hmm. Let's swap that. Is that it? I think that's it, yes! Oh god, it's huge. They don't do a dash, which is nice. Jeez, took it right to the face! Alright, nice. We did it! Woohoo! Moray eel jawbone. Alright, this isn't too bad. Oops, I forgot I can't pick those up yet. Maybe we can find another one. Pow hammer! These things are ruthless. You think they might be deeper into the shadows. Your old supervisor started at a new place? Ooh, okay. Ooh! That would be amazing. Yeah, the way things are going right now, at your current place, might as well apply. Yeah! Oops, I keep forgetting I can't pick those up. What does that stand for again? I'm... I'm like 12. 
I, I don't know my acronyms. F M L A. Oh, okay. Yeah, that would be not ideal. Attendance bracket? <laughs> oh my gosh. I need to find a fish. I didn't find another eel, but it's okay. Oh! You think I could take it? I have a level 3. Last, last time that thing, like, throttled me. It hurt. Letters are so that's why I get scared. Oh my gosh, we did it! Oh, oh, oh. Okay, yeah, definitely. That sounds like a good plan, Ioni. I'll be rooting for you. Oh. Can you believe that got me really like nervous? Can you believe that got me really nervous? Oh my goodness gracious. I won't scream five minutes later. Eek. I don't know where my C or my Z is. <laughs> I just literally mash buttons whenever the prompt comes up. There's not a lot of nighttime fish. I guess you see them more near the bottom because this is like kind of the normal. Well, not normal, but like these are not fish that I haven't seen before. I've only seen one eel, too. A shark. These one, this one's a little easier to dodge. Oh shoot! Oh shoot! <laughs> As I say that, and then. Oh snap! My aim 
is awful. Okay, I have no more ammo. Okay. The eel is going after me! It's playing tug of war with this thing. Oh my gosh. Alright. <laughs> Thank you, Lindo. Thank you for your support and then believing in me. <laughs> Alrighty. Gamer! Alright, I need to get out of here. Yeah, no worries, Ioni. That's more important than me getting throttled by a shark. <laughs> by an in-game shark, I should say. Oh snap, please no, I am encumbered! What is that? What is that? I do not like that. I do not like that. <laughs> this is so rude, Ioni. It, I am. I, I. Oh, that's what I mean. Oh my goodness. All right, guys. Oh my goodness. Alright, we're going back. Yeah, let's go back. This is actually the first time I swam to the surface in a while. Oh my goodness. Alright, we got Moray, Thaw Shark, and Copper Shark. It's not fat, it's being fluffy and <laughs> having love handles. Okay. Yeah, exactly. What's a little muffin top? <laughs> That's the best part of the muffin! Alright. And having an extra heavy backpack. Um. Alright, I think we're ready to open. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not calling Leah Chonky. I want to go diving in the nighttime again. I I will. I I have to. <laughs> no harm done, y'all. Okay, so we got that. Um, I kind of want to keep upgrading my staff. What does dispatching mean them? I can make them go to get more stuff. Yeah, just do it. I would just do it. It's really good. Cool. Each key has seems to have prepared something. I want to see what she has prepared. That's a lot of money. We'll make the money back. Ooh, 
Ooh, we've learned a recipe. Small spotted dark kajime soup. Okay. All right, let's get let's do this. Wait, why is no one moving? Oh, that's because it was a cutscene. Okay. Oh no, he's crying. Also, what? What? <laughs> oh. Yay. Opening test test tech spots. Yeah, that'd be amazing. Yeah, definitely just try it, Ioni. That'd be amazing. <sighs> That's the taste I remember. Oh, I'm glad you like it. Mm. Oh, I forgot his accent. The food brings back memories. Mm. One time a young man who lived with a sick mother in my village was bitten by a moray eel, keeping them from going into the sea any longer. Um. I was 12 then, and I went out into the pitch black darkness and plunged a harpoon into that moray eel's gills. I brought them the dead moray eel, and the mother made me more curry and thanks. <laughs> Thinking of that woman's kind eyes bring tears to my eyes. <laughs> In any case, thanks for the food. That was some fantastic cooking. Even grown men can cry. Oh yeah, oh right. I said I'd tell you something nice, right? Uh -huh. Nearly forgot amid all that nostalgia, haha. <laughs> Come see me in the empty lot behind this building. Otto's gift question mark? That sounds ominous. Oh my god. Excuse me? What is the puppet doing? <laughs> Oh, <laughs> uh -oh. why are you crying suddenly? It's too good, you bleepity bloop blop. This is way too good. Damn it, it's too good. It reminds me of my father. <laughs> What's going on, kid? My name is Maki. I'm looking for my father. My father left to explore the depths, and I can't get in touch with him anymore. His favorite food was kombu and white trabali ochazuke, and I heard you sell it here. <laughs> I thought he might have come by here. That's a pity. I'll be sure to tell you if we see someone that looks like your father. What is that doll? This is a Cleone plushie. My father gave it to me before he left. Oh, I have a favor to ask. It's about the Cleone. I've never seen one in person. Could you catch one for me? Oh, Cleone. Hmm, we can't catch something so small with a harpoon. What can we do? Could we use this? Or sorry, could we use this? Oh, bug net. Hmm, I think it might work. Alright, I'll give it a shot. What are you doing, you walrus? Get your tights on and jump in the water. Oh, I'm so sorry. I can't control my emotions that well yet. Uh, show me straight up pelvic thrust. Yeah, I know. You can now use the bug net to capture small creatures like seahorses and cleone. Yes! You know, I was wondering if we could catch those. I just assumed they were part of the scenery. Noise. W. I can just sit here. I don't need to do nothing. I just be grinding wasabi. It says increase my cook stat rating now. Could I? Yui love. This place impressed even Vincent. A pick to remember. We keep a cat here at Bancho Sushi Bar. Momo will never sit still. Real. We only use the highest quality wasabi. 
bustling. Aww. Okay. Diamond level. Hey, why not? We can rank. Oh, we can't rank up right now? Okay, never mind. Oh, that was the end of the day. Nice! How much money do we make? Noise. So, 47 operation, 245 pay. Okay, so we made a thousand. That's not bad. That's really good, actually. <laughs> and we got back to five stars. Excellent. This game is like literally a game I could just play forever. <laughs> I could play it like all day. Otto. Did you sleep well? Yesterday I told you I'd t tell you something good. Take the boat and come behind the restaurant. That sounds very sus. Ioni has stopped its functioning? Uh oh. What is this? Fish farm? Whoa, what is this place? <laughs> Looks like you're doing quite a lot of hard work catching fish every day. So I got to making a fish farm and started it in a single day yesterday. What? A single day? In any case, this is where you can grow fish and also let them multiply. I'll explain slowly, so listen- ah! <laughs> Oh my gosh, thank you for the raid, Bravo! Doggo Rado! Oh my gosh, how was your stream? Thank you for the raid! Uh, I'm Leah, I'm a wolf dog maid. And right now we're playing Dave the Diver. And we're learning about fish farms. Yes, welcome, welcome! Oh my gosh, Head Butler is here too, what the heck? Yes, thank you for coming, thank you for the raid again. I, <laughs> I got scared, I was like, what's happening? <laughs> Oh, thank you for the follow, Grimoire, uh, Vice. Hello. Rabbo just has a, a new model for Halloween. Well, October. And it, was, it looks really good. It has pumpkin, it's orange, it's spider web. The ears are super cute. Y'all need to check her out, alright? Oh, wait. It's my... <laughs> Where's my manners? One second. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Let me make sure I write this the right time. Write, write this the right way. Fish farms. <laughs> it's funny that you mention it. <laughs> you see, when I started, I called myself Nico Nico Chan. Oh, really? Nico Nico Nee. <laughs> Nico Nico Nee. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. I love drunk Rabbo. <laughs> Toggle tail. Oh, my tail. Hold on, let me change it to the right color. One day I'll fix that. There we go. Nico Nico ni. Alright. I hope your internet wasn't giving you much more trouble. I know how it can be. Uh... When I lived in- Oh, thank you for the head pat! When I lived in Japan, we had, like, our Wi-Fi box was literally, like, a phone card inside the router. I don't know how to explain it, but that, that was our internet. <laughs> you can tell Leah's happy how their ta tail wiggles. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Honestly, I was like, it was. I was surprised I could even play Final Fantasy XIV on my Japanese router. Toward the end, it stabilized. Oh, thank goodness. Your internet is a USB stick in the TV. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh, wait, that's even more. <laughs> 
worse than mine was. Amazing. <laughs> but it works. I love that. Fish farms need to need to have the rot environments for their fish. Each section has a fish for um, a different depth. This is where you can grow fish that live at depths from 0 to 50 meters. Each section has limited space and once the density reaches 100%, no more fish can fit. <laughs> of course, you can pay a bit, bit of money to expand them. Ha ha ha. Each section is equipped with its own camera so you can look inside. Look. Now come along. Ooh, fish tank. Nice, isn't it? I added a few fish to start you off. Wow, it's like an aquarium. Mm. Just staring into the water is enough to make you all peaceful inside. But that isn't the purpose of this fish farm, of course. I'll teach you how to pluck them out so they can be eaten. Pay attention. Okay. Fish in a fish farm can be sent to Bancho Sushi to be used as ingredients or sold directly. <laughs> Even if you fail to catch fish because you are so busy exploring, you won't need to worry. Oh, I like that. But how do we add fish to the farm? Simply catching them will kill them. Good question. You can farm them by collecting fish eggs. If you capture some fish alive, you'll sometimes get fish eggs. Those eggs will be automatically sent here. Oh, and one more thing. If you have two or more of the same type, they can also multiply. Whoa, I see. How can fish multiply? I've placed two fish each, so you should be able to see the results tomorrow. Oh, and you're totally fine, Rabo! Thank you for stopping in and thank you again for the raid! <laughs> the game is super relaxing. I was just telling chat I could play this game like all day. <laughs> it's so zen. Except for the times I get jump scared. <laughs> ah, Alright, have fun with your volunteer work! Oh my gosh, exciting. I hope the weather's been nice over there too. Take care, Rebo. <laughs> Try coming back tomorrow. Okay. When catching fish, you'll sometimes acquire fish eggs. These can be fish hatched in the fish farm. If hunting isn't a viable option, try getting ingredients from the fish farm. Okay. Ooh, we could get shark eggs. Bye, Rebo! Alright, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Oh. Okay. How do I leave? Sir? Oh, that's my boat over there. Jeez, so much stuff happening. Here. Here. <laughs> Trying to remember the voice. Here, these are special diving gloves made in our research facility. The bees will be able to pick up various objects in the water. Why don't you test them out yourself? Enter the water. Hold on, I need to upgrade my equipment. No! I can't equip... Okay. We're going into the water now. Objects that can be picked up will show a button when you go near them. First try grabbing a pile of rocks over there and dropping them. That's weak wood, so you should be able to break through. Pile of rocks? Oops. <laughs> Ooh, gravity! Wow, very nice. Let's try going down. Ooh, an anchor. Whoa! The current's strong. Grab that anchor so it won't sweep you away. Ooh. Good! You can grab onto objects like that to anchor yourself. Literally! That'll come in handy in places with strong currents. Okay, but it still swept me away. Wow. 
Oh, I see something shiny back there. Grab the stake in front of you and pull. How am I pulling? Uh. 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 Oh, jeez. Okay. Awesome. Since the path is open, grab the treasure up top before coming up. Okay. Looks like Dr. Bacon... Sorry. Uh, looks like Dr. Bacon left abruptly again after finishing his explanation. In any case, these diving gloves look like they could come in very handy. I heard... Uh oh I I heard that the Nitsi people are t waiting for you. Go down there and try pulling out the stake. Okay. Let's see if I can uh, upgrade. I should upgrade my suit to a higher depth. Well, everything's so expensive now. Okay. Take 30 more minutes? That's fine. I can do that. I could play this all night. <laughs> uh, I have a lot of bowls. No problem. Yeah, go ahead. Okay, I think that's all I can sell. Oops. Wait, you can change the boat skin? Oh, I like that a lot. Okay, let's do that. Um, I upgraded my... stuff. Anything else I can do? 40 research points. Cool. That's it. Not quite there yet. I think that's it. Oh, we want to rank up. Yes. Rating. Kitty! Yay! Gold acquired! Ooh, we got more recipes too! Nice! Woohoo! Let's go feed Momo. It's staring at you. Let's give you some good food. Yay, Momo! Okay. Oh? Well, gosh, we've been published. They said good things. Yay! It was amazing. Yay! I should have taken a photo. It was too good to wait. <laughs> the ocean has such vast mysteries. I think I'm a little drunk. Just a little. Okay. Talking about the sea people. Momo. I unlike it. Like it again. Okay. Alright, next one. Oh snap, we need a bunch of research recipes. Alright. Holy cow. 
Wait, you only have five followers out of 200? Oh, I guess it's it doesn't accumulate from the last one. Okay, okay. We can grab stuff now, guys. I can get that sea urchin. Hee hee hee. Sea urchin. Hee hee hee. Yes! These diving gloves should be able to pick up sea urchins. Sea urchin sushi. Just the thought of it makes me drool. Uh, how do I use my net? Or do I not have a net? I might not have a net. Not yet. We need to find a net. A yellow crate because it might be in that. Ooh. I want to upgrade my harpoon next. What I'm looking for. How do I get a net? Do I have to uh craft it maybe? All right. Well, we can do it later. We should probably help the sea people. Those. Those are shrimp in the background. I want shrimp sushi. Wait, I got one. <laughs> How'd I get it? Oh, you just press space bar. So, okay. So then that isn't an equipable item. Oh, not at all. Oh, I understand. Alright, let's look for some Cleone. They look like little sea angels. seeing them. Maybe not over here. Maybe a little lower? There's some shrimp. 
Shrimpy. Shrimpy. <laughs> I like my sh shock bang stick. Oh, what's happening? Oh, <gasps> the dolphin! Again? Oh, please don't tell me you're the one's in trouble. Oh, the pink dolphin I met before. What if it gets caught by poachers again while wandering around alone? If we can raise awareness about it, they can't we maybe make it harder to poach? I should take a picture and get it published in Weekly Fish. Oh, okay. Cute! It's making a bubble. Heart-shaped water drop. Okay. Okay, let's restart. No, that's not the heart shaped one, though. Retake it. Okay, it does it like somewhere in the middle back here. So just wait. No! <laughs> oh, come on! Okay, okay. I have to wait for it to make its round to go around the back. Okay, it's not perfect, but the game says it's okay. <laughs> The game says I got it, so we're doing it. Woohoo! Hmm, I don't want that one. I'm looking for the Cleone. I remember how Butler was playing this game with the Cleone. It was really weird. I wish I remembered the name. It was like this post-apocalyptic uh, setting. And... We were like living in... Japan. Maybe Tokyo? It was like partially submerged in water. Huh. <sighs> Head Butler, do you know what I'm talking about? Are you still here? The one of the Cleone? Ioni. <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't find them. I swear I've seen them. Maybe I'm looking too high. Maybe I should just go lower. Got some seahorses.
We should probably get some more sea grapes. Ah, so much to do, so little time. Oh, wait. Oh no, I killed it. Rip. Literally drag you out of your thought bubble. Uh, whoopsie. Also, Apari has a cute vampire pin. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, okay. Yeah, just link it to me. I'll buy it for ya. Ah, I'm getting pushed around. Oh, all right. I'll do it after stream. Brazil Cleone. Don't? But it'd be cute. Let me look at the shipping and then I, I, I'll I'll get back to you. <laughs> if the shipping's not an arm and a leg, it can be your Christmas present. I'm so lost. <laughs> I think I was looking for Cleone, and then I'm just like, where am I? Wait, you're getting distracted? Yes, you are. You are indeed. Bomb. I don't really need a bomb. Black tiger shrimp. Ooh. I'm trying to look for the, uh, this, the cave. No idea where it is. Oh snap. Oh snap. Oh snap. Did the people want story progression, or did they just want me getting lost? Hmm. Hmm. Where is the cave? That's what I'm looking for. I want more sea grapes. Ooh, pufferfish. Uh oh, I'm over encumbered already.
Cleone are down here! Oh, I was looking in the wrong spot the whole time. I could have sworn it was up more high, but nope. I need to drop something heavy. Let's drop the cuttlefish. Okay. Excuse me. That was a hiccup. In case you were wondering. <laughs> In case you were wondering what that weird sound was. Wait, why is my hiccup? Or was my hiccup? Why is my tail the wrong color again? There you are, head butler. I was asking, do you remember that game you played with the survivors and the Cleone? Zanky Zero? Oh yeah, I think that's it! Were they called Cleone? Or something similar? Something like that. I don't need that right now. Oopsies, I'm over encumbered again. Game was weird. The ending was weird too. Alright, I'm not gonna pick up any more stuff. I don't think this is the... The tunnel I'm looking for. Eee! You just slapped me! Stop slapping me! Goodness. It's not very nice. Okay. Mm, I want the oxygen more. We definitely did not get enough Cleone. But that's okay. A shovel? Interesting. Oh my gosh, it's like Shovel Knight. <laughs> Flame sniper rifle? Your back had to get the garlic bread and lasagna out. You know, you didn't miss anything. Just be wandering around. That sounds so good, though, Lindo. No. Oh my gosh! It did so much damage. Oh, oh my gosh! Did it kill the one over here? Hmm. Is this a sea people building? The door's locked. Oh my gosh! It killed the one over here too. Holy cow, why are those jellyfish so heavy? I don't need them. 
Plyoni. They'll get you some? Yes, I would love some. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm a little lost. How do I get back? Where do I need to go? Maybe I don't need to go this way? Okay, nice. Sounds good. In this house, we love referrals. And we love referrals that give you money. Holy buckets! Oh wait, it's not a real fish. Nice, 1,000. That's an opa? It looks like a sunfish. This is the first time I've seen one in person. Maybe I'll take a picture as a souvenir. Okay. Opa, show yourself. Capture two opas at once. Wait, that would be it! Ah! I'm not very good at this. Opa, serve yourself. Sir, serve yourself. Show yourself! Alright, this is it. Does that work? Pog! <laughs> Pog! We did it. Woohoo! 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 <laughs> Alright. A chambered nautilus. Uh oh. That over encumbered me. Is that a pile of rocks moving around? It's the octopus! We've met this octopus before. Urgh, this is the octopus from last time. It's spraying ink again. I won't let you get away this time. Just wait. Octopus returns. Did it break or did it not break? Ah, I'm tired of being over encumbered. I have so many sea urchins. I could get rid of one. Okay, it wasn't enough. Do it again. Great, the path is clear. Just wait, Octopus. Hey, how dare you spray ink twice? I won't let you get away with this. Ask Bancho for takoyaki. Oh, that's something for me. Oh, ran away again. It was definitely quick. Hmm, it dropped something again. Hmm, it's always leaving something behind. It might not be as bad as I thought. It seems to be an artifact. I'll have to identify it back at the surface. Okay. Cool. Can I go this way? No. I cannot go that way. Oh, 
Oh god, this exploding jellyfish. How are you supposed to eat that? I wonder. Oh wait. Like, how are you supposed to get it? If it explodes. Oof, indeed! <laughs> Mm, I don't need a sensor bomb. Oh, you're back, human. I was afraid you'd been eaten by a frilled shark on the way back. She talks like someone I know. I think I'll be able to pull out the stake if I use the diving gloves from Dr. Bacon, who lives on land. Bacon, hee <laughs> hee. In our language, that name sounds like spoiled whale meat, hee <laughs> hee. Um, okay. Wait a moment. Let me try and pull. I have so much oxygen now. It's kind of nice not having to worry about breathing. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Uh, get out of the way! Did that work? I don't think it worked. It was effective, but not enough. Hmm. I think one more attempt might cut it. Human, there's another rock pile over there. Convenient! Um, there's no movable device over there. I'll have to go check it out first. <laughs> we are checking it out. Thank you for the head pat. Hmm, there's nothing that can be done at this side. I'll have to try going around back. How? Where is that? Where is back? Oh gosh. Oh my god, I love it. <laughs> I love that. Oh crap. Cookie cutter shark. Oh, that was a shark? Almost done applying. Excellent! I love to hear it. Oh, stop picking stuff up! Uh, I need to drop things... It was a cliché shark. Amazing. Woo! We got it! Blood belly comb t jellyfish. Gee, that sounds... scary. Good to hear. Let me know if you need a little bit longer. No rush. God. Oh, there's so many jellyfish! <laughs> Leave me alone. This thing is so rude! <gasps> okay. 
There's a stick in the back. If I pull that out. Oh my goodness gracious. Come at me, bro. Come at me, bro. This might be a little shocking for you. <laughs> Alright. Alright, let's do this. Ooh. Yay! Wow, human! Good! We have a bath! You are more useful than you look. The village is very close. Come in through the hole you just made. I'll go ahead. Wait, I can leave now, can't I? Would you listen to yourself? Aren't you worried for Ramo? Besides, I have a request for you. So, I would like you to come to the village with us. The Sea People Village? Me? Yes, there's a reason I came up all the way to the Sea Human Sea. I have a request. Oh, okay. I'll just have to remember where to clip it, Ioni. <laughs> Making my way downtown. Jeez, that fish took a number on me. Look how much oxygen. Oh, more oxygen. Okay, I don't need it. Do I have to carry her? Or did she already go ahead? Okay, looks like she already went ahead. Ugh, I'm getting really spooky vibes. Uh oh. Something just moved past me. Human, go on ahead and be our lookout. But it's so dark. I feel like there might be something dangerous there. Ugh. Bro, I'm over encumbered. Alright. It is pretty dark. I don't like it. And <laughs> done. Mm. Okay, I can't be over encumbered for this. Um I need to lose about six point eight kilos. My sea urchins! Okay. Gotta lose the chunk. No! Might take a walk around the block to finish your last daily mission on Monster Hunter. Okay. If you wait for- oh, actually. Okay, well have fun, Hud Butler. What is this? Why is there debris like this so deep? I don't like this, y'all. Oh. Ah! Ah! Okay, sounds good, Ioni. Oh no, those vibrations again. Mm. Something has to be here. Why did he tell me to come here alone? Ah! I am not equipped for this. Wolf eel? Bro is my brother. What is that? There are wolf eels that big? Ugh, I don't think I can run. 
Oh, what a number. <laughs> okay, it's not working. It's not working. <laughs> Wait, there's weapon down here. <laughs> I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. There's a weapon. Oh, it looks really tough. Huh. The shining spot on his tail looks weaker than the rest of his body. Okay, I missed it. But I, I got it for next time. Okay, so basically, I just want to make sure... I just have to not get eaten. Okay. I think I get, I get, the, I get the attack pattern now. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. This one, I'm not sure how you avoid it. Oh, sh- Oh! Ah, I still got hit! <laughs> okay, I got two hits in. I'm doing so good, guys. God Gamer! That's what they call me. Whoa! Ah! I'm doing horrible! I'm getting <laughs> I don't know how to avoid that one at all. Damn it. No, sorry. The music. <laughs> He can't grab me from here. <laughs> I don't know how to avoid it from coming from the other side. Oh my gosh, it's dropping stuff. Second thing? Oh jeez, I just learned it. <gasps> <laughs> oh snap, I missed! Wait, I did it! I did it! Yay! God Gamer! That's me! <sighs> How can an eel, wolf eel, be so big? Ahem, I was just about to come and defeat it. I guess I came too late. Haha, -ha, you're stronger than I expected, human. Thank you for the head pet. Headbutter. Now you see that big gate over there? That's the entrance to the village. Take the lead, human. Oh, all my goodies. Okay. I want to take the lead, but I must protect Rommel. It's not because I'm afraid. Of course it isn't. I hope nothing has happened to the village. Please hurry, human. Rank 99! Wolf Eel Gill. Okay. Time to get the suffering started. Alright, I'll be right there. Like, maybe in a few minutes. Phew! We're finally back to the village entrance passageway. Ramo, you have a key, right? Oh no! I left the key back at the... Just kidding! Hee <laughs> hee! I have it in my, here in my bag. Whew! I thought you would ask me to take you again. Let's insert the key and get back to the village. What the heck? It's beautiful! Sea People Village. 
Wait, how is there waterfalls in water? Whoa, so this is... Haha, -ha, that's right! This is the Sea People Village we live in! To think there would be a place like this under the sea! Wait! How? How did a human get in here? Huh? Ramon Suwam, were you kidnapped by this human? Tenzin waits, awaits you. He's lost sleep worrying about you. Um, it's kind of hard to explain. Haha, -ha, allow me! I rescued Ramo after, after she was kidnapped by a squid. Forget it, just take me to my father. It'll be faster for me to explain things to him. Tenzin's house. The Tenzin? Aww. Dad, you're being cringe. Oh my goodness, Ramo, my daughter. Where were you, my precious girl? Your daddy. Your daddy was worried out of his wits. Are you hurt? Did the humans do something to you, my daughter? Wait. Who is this next to you? I thought you'd brought a blue manatee, but this is a human! Mm. What is going on here? I'd like to have an explanation. You know that strange things have been happening around here re recently, right? For example, the tremors and the ice melting off the divine tree. Of course, Romo. I've been more looking into the causes. It's already been two years. You know our technology has its limits. Mm. But, well, the ancient texts have all been lost. We need to figure out new methods again. We can't simply keep waiting, Father. Humans are selfish, but they have good technology. We need their help. No, not the humans. They can't be trusted. Mm. They dirtied our home and even hunted our kind to put on display. There are wicked creatures looking to hunt us and steal from us. We can't tell why up to he likes of. Uh oh. Another huge tremor! See? Something really bad will happen if we don't do anything. Um, hmm. When I was taken by the giant squid in human waters, Dave here helped me out. Suwam said he was the one who did that earlier. Try asking him! Not all humans can be bad, can they? I mean, well. Even, even if I wanted this, the village would not agree. Getting help from humans, everyone would find that hard to believe. This man can gain the village's trust. I'll consider your suggestion. Hmm, the village's trust. How does he go about winning that? What about asking around to see what they need? Alright, since today's long trip have, must have been pretty tiring. Human, come back here tomorrow. You'll have to listen to the villagers' requests. Wait, I didn't even agree yet. How am I supposed to come all the way up here? Ooh, a teleportation? I hope so. Chapter 3. I'll grow accustomed to see people. Hmm. Since you say you helped my daughter, Ramo, I suppose it wouldn't be fitting for my people to ignore your needs, even if you're human. Use this! What is this? It looks like an ordinary mirror. The sea people mirror, once installed, will let you instantly travel to this village. Wow, is this such a thing possible? Mm -hmm. The various disasters have caused our decline, but our ancestors were a very advanced civilization once. Mm -hmm. Right now, all we have left is a few of the relics, sadly. Mm -hmm. In any case, installing this in your village will allow you to come to this village whenever you need. It will recognize your face, so you'll be only you will be able to use it. It also operates in the light of the divine tree, or the sun, so you can only use it during the day. Oh, and I'll give you a village map to use. I'll help you find the villagers. Oh my gosh, this game is so huge! Hmm, a teleportation device. That's pretty amazing. I'll have to go back to the boat with the smear for now. Nice! You got the red sniper rifle and the small net gun. Biggest fish. Giant wolf eel, 999 centimeters. Nice. And we got so much meat! Meat! 
Okay. And we got an artifact. Octopus Weapon Charm. Uh, extra 15% of gun base damage is added. Ooh, that sounds fun. Oh, you bought a picture of something. Can I see? Oh, wow! A pink dolphin! It's so adorable. I'd like to take it home. <laughs> I'm kidding. Great! Then let's name this dolphin Pinky and get people to notice. Then poachers won't be able to catch it so easily. I'll put your picture to good use. I'm sure the readers will love it. Woohoo! Oh, an Opa! Did you know that Opa is warm-blooded? Oh, I think I've heard about it. Haha! It's amazing that some fish species are warm-blooded. The ocean is full of mysteries. I'll put your picture to good use. I'm sure that readers will love it. Woohoo! Alright. Wrap up your day and get things ready at Banjo Sushi. Okay, we installed the mirror. You said I could go to the sea people village during, with this during the day, right? Should go tomorrow. Hold on! Look at the time. Banjo Sushi must have opened already. I should stop by and check if anything of note has happened. Um, it looks like I arrived too late. I should do a little cleanup. Oh, uh, Miss Yoshie, what are you doing here? Oh, my work just ended now. When I was passing by, I saw the lights were on despite the hour. Pancho seems to have gone home already. He looked a bit tired recently. I'm worried he might fall ill. <laughs> Even so, I'm glad to see him working so hard, again like this. Oh, come to think of it, I heard he once gave up on cooking because of a certain incident. Yes, back then I thought he was gone for good. I wonder what that was about. Hehe, <laughs> well, it's not being that secretive. I simply avoided mentioning it with him present, so just in case it's still a sore spot for Bancho. Hmm. I'm thirsty. Could you first give me a glass of beer? Okay. Okay. I'm still learning how to do that one. Nothing so refreshing as a glass of beer after work. Especially nice to have a view of the sea at night. Like this, as I drink. Mm. I'll tell you a bit about Bancho and why he could quit cooking for a while. It's 12 years ago. Oh my gosh. This is the Dugong Hotel. I worked here 12 years ago. It's a 5-star hotel with both tradition and a long history. It looks a bit old, yes, but at the time, the quality of the food and service had been newly improved. Yoshie, do you have a moment? What is it, manager? Well, a troublesome customer left a reservation. A uh, troublesome customer? Do you know the actress Lois Crawford? She made a reservation at our hotel. Wait, this is like freaking Ace Attorney! <laughs> this is Ace Attorney! Our Dugong Hotel is a luxury hotel of many years of history and tradition. In the past, we had nobles staying in our accommodations, and many notable films were shot here. Many people seeking that sort of old era nostalgia used our surf services, and we had very high standards for the services we provided. The manager had spent his entire life at the hotel, and was like he was li a living embodiment of its history. He has a lot of knowledge about the etiquette used by the upper class of each country, and he was very used to servicing those of high rank. Many VIPs sought his services. Lois Crawford, she was a leading actress of a long career. Her role as a spy in one of her most famous works, The 42nd Floor, was extremely impressive. She appears to have hit a slump, as her new movies haven't been doing very well. I heard that Lois Crawford can be very picky, but we are a very high quality hotel history and tradition on our side. I don't think there will be any issue if she comes. Aha, so there is. Nobody can beat the level of services and staff at this hotel. We've won many prizes as well. Just one thing. You haven't heard the rumors about her, have you? The rumors? Take a look at this. This is... She's famous not only as a chef, but a gourmet. That's a blurb she traveled in a travel magazine recently. 
Hmm, it appears to be a description of her travels, but it's just her bashing on the hotel she stayed at. Gloria hotels are the best of the best, and yet she wrote such a scathing review. Bringing out the bad make, does make a person look more professional. Her writing is mostly like this. What do you suggest we do, Yoshie? Well, we should decline. How about we refuse the reservation? We don't really need to take a re customer that will purposefully try to hurt our reputation, do we? If we do that, she'll probably use an even more crafty way to get at us. She'll send out messages saying that we lack confidence, that we're picky about who we accept, and so on. We'll take the reservation, but we also need to think of ways to satisfy her. I suppose you're right. Do you have any ideas, Yoshie? Um, our hotel strengths are our long history and tradition, as well as our high quality service. The way we can satisfy her will involve making good use of these things. Did she reserve a suite? Yes, it's a suite. We'll need clean rooms and services that matches her taste. We'll treat her as a VIP. I'll look into the drinks and amenities she prefers and place them as I also check on the state of the rooms. And about who will receive her. Or sorry, I suppose I'll have to do that. Thank you. There's no one that can handle such a tricky customer except you, with your very long ex with your long experience of many I VIPs. I'm more tense than usual. And about the meals, we can offer her the buffet for breakfast, but we'll also need to ready a dinner course. The dinner is at our hotel... French. We have fantastic French food at our hotel. It's the pride and joy of Dugang Hotel, of a Michelin-starred head chef at the helm. But you came at the most inconvenient time. Our head chef is in France on a culinary research trip. Two chef has taken his place for now, and he cooks wonderfully as well. However, our upcoming customer is a very difficult one. Japanese. Dugong's hotel's Japanese food has never been a strong suit. We only served udon, or simple donburi. We have been making exponential progress, however. After we hired Bancho, we've grown quite dramatically. Bancho is famous for his ability to reinterpret the use of ingredients, and his food was recently featured in an overseas magazine. He might be our dark horse. That means Japanese is likely to be our best choice. Bancho hasn't really proven himself yet. Do you think he'll be alright? Hmm, Bancho's skill is indisputable. However, one great drawback is that he doesn't consider the preferences of his customers. His sole focus is letting people try new flavors. That is what drives creativity, of course, but this time it won't really serve us. We're dealing with the infamous Lois Crawford, after all. I see, that's a good point. However, I think the best we can do right now is to try and persuade Bancho. I agree. Best of luck, Yoshie. Oh my god, young Bancho! Bancho, are you here? Miss Yoshie, what are you doing here? Oh, you're here, that's good. I've come to check on the status of the manager's request. Look all you want, it's just an ordinary Japanese food kitchen. Bancho was a peculiar man. He suddenly appeared one day, handing us a resume and explaining he'd been learning in Japan. All the sushi establishments listed in the resume were top tier, but Bancho never stayed in one place for long. He told me that he moved on each time after learning enough. The manager had a long talk with him and then left the operation of the Japanese food team to him. He could always be found in the kitchen busy with something, day in and day out. He researched food on his own when there were no customers. He hated to be interrupted. Were you practicing? Well, yes. Training means thousands and ten thousands of attempts. Practiceful rest is the only way to produce meaningful results. I see. I heard that you never skip research and practice, Blancho. It relieves me to see you so hard at work. What do you mean, you're relieved? Pancho, would you be willing to try servicing a VIP? Servicing a VIP? That's right, we have an important guest who will increase her reputation, or rather, who might send it plummeting to the ground. Her name is Lois Cla Crawford. She's an actress that's famous, infamously hard to please, and also a gourmet reviewer. It's been about a year since you joined the Dugong Hotel. Our Japanese food team, which was never very strong, received much attention in a short span of time. And we can't deny that your contribution to this was great. However, that means we also get customers who want special treatment. So, you mean to say I should try and please this picky woman, Lois Crawford? 
Yes, this is important, as Dugong's hotels. Uh, reputation lies in the balance. Hmm. What do you say? For me, cooking has always been a battle with myself, not with others. Making perfect food has always been my goal. That won't change no matter who I cook for. I simply use the best ingredients available in the current season, and the most suitable recipe. Will that be okay with you? Alright, we'll leave the individual dishes in your hands, Bancho. However, I'd like to offer input on the method of servicing our guest. Alright, you're the expert, Miss Yoshie, when it comes to servicing food. Uh, sushi course. The sushi course offers various types of sushi in a certain order, with a few side dishes interspersed in between. It allows us to use sushi to allow customers to try many types of fish. What do you think of the sushi course? It's also your specialty. I'm very familiar with this method. However, don't you think it'll be too ordinary? If we go with this, we'll likely use sushi, tuna sushi, pike eel sushi, or olive, olive, olive flounder sushi as the main dish. Look at this Chad! Cleaning the sh the knife from the sharp side. <laughs> Carlos! He's amazing, I love him. All of Flounder being in season right now. That won't be very impressive, however. Jeez, he looks like he's already like, you know. I'm looking! I didn't realize he was doing that! Oh my god. I thought that was normal to do. Hmm, alright. Since it's to be a dinner, I think a course would be better than a single dish. That probably means uh, it'd be better to employ a western course format instead. Yeah, for the sharp side, I'd be scared too. I'd probably cut myself. Though it'll be a bit different from the traditional method. I th think I could add soup, a hors d'oeuvre, sashimi, side dishes, sushi, tempura, and dessert to the course. What do you think? Not bad. So what will you make for each dish? There's a soup to begin with. You do that all the time? Lindo. I guess Lindo's a Chad. Yes. Yes, I think that'll be up to, that'll be fine up to the sushi. Temper is next. I suppose shrimp would be the most logical choice. Hmm, it's difficult to create any impact of shrimp. We've kept everything pretty normal so far. So this is where we add a little spice. I've been researching this very topic. How does something like this sound? Yeah, let's have a good idea. Let's hear it. Shark. I'm thinking of using a dish that uses a shark head. What? A shark? Can sharks be eaten? Sharks are a very tasty fish. This is the time of year where they grow fat, boosting the flavor. The meat in the cheeks in particular ha have a lovely chewy texture, which re reminds you of both ordinary meat and fish. I'm gonna drink really quick. <laughs> Just a lot of talking. A shark is too exotic of an ingredient. Couldn't we use something a little more widely consumed? Especially considering this is Lois Crawford. Good food will impress anyone. Anyone who takes a bite will recognize the food for what it is. You had grilled shark before? Don't do it? Oh, how'd it taste like? That it is the best possible food that can be found around here in the current season. Um, I'll give it some thought. I'm not sure it'll fail be okay. Da 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 da. I can't help but think it's not that great of an idea, Bancho. Hmm. If you serve that dish and things go sideways, the consequences won't affect you alone. Like dry, chewy rubber? Ooh. Yeah, no thank you. Both the manager and I will also take part of the blame. After all, she's coming to the Dugugang- the <laughs> Dugang Hotel, not to a restaurant op operated by you. A hotel must seek to provide the most restful and enjoyable experience to its guests. Nothing can be allowed to mar that experience, as the hotel will stand to lose by it. But there's no guarantee she'll hate it. She'll know from just taking just a bite that it's one of the greatest foods. There's always an exception to the rule. She's an extremely picky person after all. What a pity, I understand. I'll go shrimp tempura then, though I can't compare to shark. This way, Miss Crawford. Thank you. This is the chef who will be preparing your food today, Bancho. Hmm, he's younger than expected. I was hoping for a slightly more experienced chef. Oh 
walking by, tight-lipped, aren't we? Perhaps my looks leave you at a loss for words. <laughs> she looks pretty good. Just very fashionable. Haha. <laughs> he seems a little tense. He's quite, still quite a skilled chef, I assure you. I'll be looking forward to the food then. I remember the, food, the service here being quite alright for an old hotel. I like the carpet and the paintings on the wall as well. On the walls as well. Furnishings at Gloria Hotel have a kitsch quality to them that I don't like. But to think there's no gym, that's a bit of a shocker. I need to exercise daily to maintain my figure. It was our intention that your stay to be as restful as possible. Everyone has their preferred way of resting, while the bathing facilities are good, so I'll content myself with that. So, what's for dinner? A Japanese course meal. Here's the course menu. The first dishes are... Steamed snapper and yam soup. This is a steamed dish composed of grilled snapper and roe, which was then got steamed, garnished with ground yam. The soup features the rich flavor of the fish. Hmm, is that Japanese soup? It's got a bland flavor coupled with a spicy scent. Quite interesting. That is the flavor of the shichimi. There is a little tiny bit of flavoring provided by a condiment made from seven spices. Oh my gosh, guys, this is so much reading! I was not expecting this. I, I would have ended the stream. Oh well, whatever. <laughs> I will do it. And the next dish is... A few minutes later. Thank you for the headpat, Lindo. So, the tempura and dessert are left. What's the tempura? Don't tell me it's shrimp. The sort that's commonly served with rice. Huh. Dessert's no doubt the usual fruit. I suppose I've tasted basically everything. It's hard to decipher her reaction. Have we succeeded? No, I don't think we have. How do you like it? Are you happy with our Japanese food? Well, it's about as good as I expected it to be, I suppose. I suppose I could come here to eat every now and then, but why bother to coming to a hotel to eat food that's quite average? Ha 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 ha. Even so, I'm sure our food is better than that of most other restaurants. The snapper soup or something was pretty interesting, but that's it. It was just a fishy soup with a spicy aftertaste. The pinky added sticky yam on top. Ugh, I really didn't like the texture. Oh dear. It seems Japanese food isn't all that to your liking. I know, uh-oh, head butler. Ignorant of that fact, we served you Japanese. My mistake. Please accept my apologies. Whatever. It wasn't that good, but it was healthy at least. This hotel doesn't even have a gym. So I suppose the food should be healthy at the very least. <laughs> um, may I have a word? Bancho! Allow me to introduce myself again. I am the master chef who works here, Bancho. I'm not much of a speaker, so I've been listening quietly. I find it impossible to maintain my silence now, however. Oh my, do you have something to tell me? Apparently you're supposed to have better food than anywhere else, right? No, no, Mancho. Miss Lois here is just... It is most definitely my fault for failing to provide food that satisfies you. Will you not give me a chance to make up for my mistake? What? Oh, well gosh, I'm a very busy woman. What you witnessed here today aren't my real skills. I will serve you food that can be objectively called be called good. Bancho, you can't be talking about. Hmm. So you're saying you have something else you think will satisfy me? All right, I'll wait. But remember, my time is valuable. Your food had you better be amazing. Bancho, do be a goat. Bancho, you can't be thinking of. What is it, Miss Yoshie? What is there something I'm missing? All done. This is whole roasted shark head. Oh my god. This is... You fried the whole head? It is an amazing dish. The meat in the cheeks haven't... It hasn't been cut out. I chose to fry the head whole to prefer... <laughs> Preserve the simple texture. They'll never taste something like this anywhere else. It's a high quality dish made using the best possible ingredient. Get that out of my sight! How can you call this food? What are you saying? Just take a bite. I'll tr I guarantee you'll be transported to heaven. I am not happy about this. Is this what service is like at the Dugong Hotel? It, it's all my fault. I apologize. Now, Bancho, Yoshie, you apologize as well. I'm sorry, Miss Lotus. I should have been more vigilant. 
Looks are not all there it is to food. Why do you refuse to even try it, Miss Lois? Boncho! Now isn't the time to. I find this highly unpleasant. Is there some kind of hidden camera prank or punishment? You'll pay for treating me this way. Don't think I'll let you get away with it. I'm leaving. Cancel my suite. Try to read a cancellation fee if you wish. I don't care. Oh! <gasps> ba 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 ba! Ba 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 ba! After that, Bancho quit his job at the hotel and left, saying he needed a train. It's my belief it wasn't so much cook the cooking itself as the ingredients and cooking methods that he researched. Mm. She would have, but she would not have tried it. I see. Still, I admire him a little for not giving up on the belief that he's going on the right path. I suppose it was the stubborn side of him that allowed him to attain his current level of skill. Mm. Working with you. Now, he even started social media. I feel something has changed about him. I like it. I think you're good for him. Please continue to get along. I'll do my best to help Pancho focus on his cooking. Yay! Soon, the date in the game is gonna match real life. Sir, the picture you took was well received. Oh, great to hear that. I hear my superiors want to assign me another task, haha. <laughs> if I bring them a picture as nice as the previous ones. I have an offer for you. Do you want to join me and take a picture that will stand the test of time? And what are you planning to take a picture of? Do you know about manta rays? Of course. They are one of the largest of the kind. I have seen one of those majestic creatures firsthand. Good! I'm planning to take a picture of them. What do you think? Alright, I'm sold. But... But... They are nocturnal, so we need to move at night. Yeah. And we need some lure to attract them. Yeah. Sir, I will pr I prepare my equipment. Could you find a lure in the meantime? The lady should have tried it. At least... Tried it at least. Bancho put his heart and soul into that. I know, but she just wouldn't. She's just too snobby. Um, I don't know what manta rays feed on. I'm sure you'll figure that in no time. I'll count on you then. Tell me when you've got the lure. Hmm, what would Monta Ray's be on? Mm. Ellie is the best when it comes to ecology. Should I give her a call? Giant Stingray at night. Oh, Dave, you weren't around yesterday, so I was a bit worried. I couldn't get in touch with you via radio either. I was at the Sea People Village yesterday. You, you what? What happened? Mm. Well, you see. I was carrying her on my back, and then she talked to her father, the princess. And the bodyguard winked at me for some reason. <laughs> I see. I envy you, I do. What a lucky experience. I'm not sure how I can help, but it's clear they have problems to deal with. Why don't you go talk up the residents first? I'd love to go as well, but... As you said, only one person can use the sea people mirror. What a pity. Ha <laughs> What an ex unexpected turn of events. If you need any of my tools, don't forget to check out the Cobra shop. Mm. Yes, I'll have to use the sea people when we are first to visit their village. Oh my gosh, so much work to do! Alright, new content. You can use the mirror Tenzin gave you to immediately travel to the sea people village. Village. The mirror is solar powered, so it's unable to be used at night. Oh! <laughs> Dave. Dave, the fish at the farm yesterday. Why, why is he British? <laughs> they multiplied. Hurry on over to the fish farm. Ah! There's so much to do! I marked the sections of new fish with hearts so they're easy to recognize. Go and see for yourself. Ooh! Wow, the natures of mystery never mysteries of nature never cease to amaze me. I'll tell you once the eggs is catch. I'll make them of hearts if I wish have multiplied. Speaking of eggs, I'm reminded of my son, who I haven't seen in a long time. You have a son? It was a windy and rainy day. I went too far out my ship. Storm puts my ship over. I haven't been able to go back to see my son since. Well, I didn't know that. Alright, I'll come by after the check. Thanks to you, Otto. I'll feel much less pressure to catch fish. 
Ooh, baby fish. All right, you got one one shrimp in there. Cool. I think that's it. Alright, this has gone way longer than I thought. I, I was supposed to end like half an hour ago. <laughs> oh, some kind of mail is here. Should I check it? Oh! Hello, residents. We have finally launched a tourism committee to promote the newly discovered mystery blue hole. Mysterious blue hole. Our first event, the jellyfish party, will be held in three days. If you know of any restaurants that can serve jellyfish dishes to match the theme, please spread the word. Okay. Oh, oh a party! What a nice looking party! <laughs> nice looking picture! Ha 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 ha! I guess they're trying to open this place for tourism. I just hope it doesn't get too chaotic. Well, that's a party held on a special day. We just need to prepare for more customers. The mail said the party's theme was jellyfish. Jellyfish dishes should be popular. It's October 15th, so we have three days. Haha! -ha. Make sure to prepare some jellyfish, whatever kind it may be. Let's hit the jackpot. All right, cool. All right, let's save. Holy buckets! Oh wait, there's a save and quit option. No. <laughs> Move myself over. I need to put music in this room. I always forget to. All right, thanks everyone for coming by watching me play Dave the Diver. I love that game. It's so fun. So easy for time to go by. Anyways, I'm gonna send y'all over. To Ioni, who is playing Ultra Kill. They've been training very hard. I'm late. I'm supposed to be there. <laughs> but I didn't know the cutscene would take so long. Thank you, Window, for keeping me company and staying here. Commenting and stuff. It was fun. I hope you enjoyed your garlic bread and lasagna. That sounds so good. I need to eat dinner, too. Thanks for the stream. Thanks, Carlos, for coming too. It was nice to see you. And thanks again for the sub. I appreciate you. So I'm trying to look. Ah! <laughs> Thank you for the metal pipe. All right, I'm gonna send y'all over. Go say hi to Ioni and wish them good luck. Thank you for coming again. Bye bye. Love y'all. Take care. <laughs> Must support and to also banish the ads to the shadow realm. Yes, perfect. Excellent. Yep, bye y'all.